Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we'll be looking at Ilva, a skilled huntress who stalks her prey. Ilva is a jungler who specializes in ambushing enemy heroes. She uses keen instincts and traps to ensnare her victims before finishing them off with a vicious surprise attack. Ilva can quietly stalk her prey using her heroic perk, Hunter Sense. It allows her to detect the movement of enemies through walls and brush, so long as they're within her vision radius. Her allies also benefit from this knowledge and can see the same things in Fog of War that Ilva sees. While this makes it hard for Ilva to be ambushed, note that this can only detect moving enemies, so keep that in mind when face-checking Brush or else you might be in for a bad time. When Ilva activates her Charge Shot ability, she begins to store energy in her weapon. On her next basic attack, she releases the energy and deals bonus damage based on how long she spent charging it. If the ability reaches full charge, the attack will also temporarily stun her target. Ilva's movement speed is slowed while charging, so make sure to pick an opportune time to activate the ability, otherwise enemies will be able to walk away before she pulls off the stun. On Overdrive, the amount of time it takes to reach full charge is drastically reduced. Take this Overdrive if the enemy has important skills that need to be interrupted, like Adagio's Verse of Judgment. Ilva's second ability, Crimson Fang, allows her to lunge to her target and deliver a powerful strike. Afterwards, she gains bonus movement and attack speed for a short period of time. This attack deals bonus damage to immobilized targets. Try to combo this ability after Charge Shot or her ultimate, Binding Mine, for the bonus damage from an immobilized target. Additionally, Crimson Fang works well when paired with allies who can immobilize enemies with their own crowd controls. On Overdrive, the range and the damage of this ability is greatly increased. I recommend leveling this skill first and taking the Overdrive as soon as possible. Ilva's ultimate, Binding Mine, places a trap on the battlefield that arms after a short period of time. When an enemy hero walks over the trap, it will explode and cause all nearby enemies to take damage and become rooted. The trap is normally invisible, but it can be revealed through anything that detects stealth, such as scout cams, and can be disarmed with basic attacks. Only one trap can exist at a time. The range to spring the trap is also much smaller than the explosion radius, so it's important to position the trap in a place where enemies are likely to pass through, like narrow jungle pathways and brush. Ilva excels in picking off lone targets, so keep an eye on enemy heroes that might be out of position. Here, a fight breaks out and Ilva's team gets caught in the enemy gauntlet. At the same time, the enemy Scarf is getting ready to flank with his Dragon's Breath ultimate. Ilva sees this and quickly preps her Charge Shot ability. She fires it as soon as it's fully charged to get the stun and cancel Scarf's ultimate. She jumps at Scarf with Crimson Fang, and then with the attack speed bonus, she makes quick work of the dragon before she rejoins the rest of her team. Without their primary damage dealer, the fight is easy, and thanks to Ilva, they are able to decisively pick off the remaining members of the enemy team and push ahead for the win. Sometimes, the best laid traps are the ones placed in plain sight. In this fight, Ilva and her team are trying to flee, but their enemies start closing in fast. As they pass through a choke point, Ilva gets the idea to quickly place down her trap and immediately activate Charge Shot. Vox attempts to use his boots active to get past the trap, but that was the decision that ultimately sealed his fate. The trap goes off and snares him and Flicker, making him easy pickings for the Huntress. She fires a fully powered up Charge Shot, stunning him before following up with Crimson Fang. She gets the bonus damage for hitting an immobilized target and immediately deletes Vox before the snare could even wear off. Then, with the movement speed buff that she gets from Crimson Fang, she is able to easily make it back to base. Thanks for watching the Ilva Hero Spotlight. She'll be hunting down her prey starting in update 3.10, so be sure to give her a try.